In this tutorial, we're going to model the most expensive building in the world. At least that's uh, what it what it says about it. Uh, it's a project uh, made by Renzo Piano, and uh, uh, the construction cost of the whole project will be uh, more expensive than Burj Khalifa. So uh, the Samsung Corporation is actually paying for this project. So I thought it would be interesting to show you the techniques modeling techniques that I would use to actually get this effect of this spiral and how to actually model this shape. So let's get started. So first, uh, we're going to start with the simple T-spline box. And uh, I'm actually going to uh, play, around, play around with it a little bit and then uh, I'm going to uh, once I finish the the actual shape, I will um, show you the the process and the details how to do the rest. So <clears throat> here we go. Okay, so once uh, once I have the desired shape, uh, let's convert this to a Rhino geometry. And now, uh, now once we have the Rhino geometry, we can proceed with uh, creating this envelope around the building. And I'm going to show you the technique that I use to create these kind of effects. So, first of all, I'm going to I'm going to create a uh, very similar uh, very similar cone that is uh, uh, okay uh, just a second uh, to create here okay so I need the middle point <clears throat> that's my middle point and I need the bottom Build me this one. <clears throat> okay, so now <clears throat> once I have this line, I want to create a um, radius around it. Let's see. So something close to this. And that's my radius. And now we're going to use the command called helix. And let's choose around the curve. And now I'm going to actually choose the point here. Like so. And I'm going to do another one. Like this. So let's see. Something like this. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, since I see that this edge is going up a little bit, I want to extend this curve here. So let's use uh, extend by arc to keep the radius 
and let's just go something like this. Uh, in addition, we are going to we're going to copy this on top, like so, and uh, let's see where the middle here is. It's here. So I just want to know approximately what is the okay. So something like this. So now, uh, now let's go to split and let's first let's explode this and let's split this surface with these lines. So now we can delete the rest and uh, we can also split this one. I'm just going to use the extrusion here. I'm going to say split. Like so, delete this and this, and I'm going to split it here as well. Like so. So here's my spiral. I'm going to join it. And now uh, the next thing would be to actually uh, implement the spiral on this object. In, that, uh, in order to do this, we're going to use a couple of different te techniques. Um, we cannot actually use the same, the same spiral here. Uh, the reason is because you can see that the spiral is not completely, uh, completely uh, circular. It has the actual, it's following the edge of the building. So we want to do the same. So the other techniques that we can use is first we're going to offset this curve, uh, sorry, this surface outward let's say distance of five can be even more let's say 10 and we're also going to actually gonna correct it now Now I'm gonna delete this inner one and now we're gonna offset it inward as well for a distance of 10, of 20, sorry. Okay, so now the next uh, thing is to actually extract these surfaces because they will be the ones that are dictating the shape. And now let's offset this for let's say five, let's see what it is. Five is all right. Before offsetting them, we want to keep the copy of it. So we have two copies here and we want to offset just one. Let's say eight, I think eight is fine. Or no, just a little bit, let's say six. Okay, and now let's move this guy here or copy it. Uh, and let's see if it fits. Okay, so we actually need it's not it's not big enough so we need to change the extrusion distance here from 20 to 40 to have them touching uh, the other surface so let's go with offset surface distance 40 flip it okay so let's move this guy here.
and this will work. So now the last thing is we can delete this. And last thing is to use um, to use boolean split. Delete this and this. And we have our shape. As you can see, this part here is a little bit crooked, so we can fix it. Um, we can do it like, for example, let's cut it first. So I'm splitting it here. And now I'm going to <clears throat> extend this line. Okay, so it seems like it's not going to go in that direction. Uh, let's try another solution. Let's go with this guy and pull it up. So this is and now let's go to the side view. Oh, let's use this tangent here, for example. Have this guy and this guy. Let's move it here. Okay, something like this. I'm gonna delete this and let's duplicate this edge to join it. Join everything here. Try to patch it. Let's go 5-5. Five, five. Okay, it works. Let's put this all in one in one plane. Let's trim it. Let's split it. Okay, so let me just quickly do it like this. Okay. Okay, now I have this surface and let's just extrude it inside until here. Uh, it's, it's obviously not perfect, but it will do for this. I'm going to try to trim it down here. Okay, so let's play. Okay, this is fine. So this is the, the final result. Now when I look at it, it seems like it's the proportions are not quite uh, good, so we can just extend it a little bit with scale 1D to have it more visually similar to this. And that's the result. Um, I'm going to render this now and show you the, the render uh, later. Here is the final rendering. Hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.